Hello, I recently purchased this analog to digital converter from AB Electronics UK and uh, I, I gotta say that I really like this uh, product that they came out with but I did have a little bit of difficulty setting up the software so I'd like to actually put together a little video tutorial of exactly how to uh, set up the software for that device so here we go. I have a, a base image here of uh, Raspbian with just a few very minor changes to it. So I'm going to do this basically from the ground up. So login is Pi with the standard password Raspberry. And the first thing that I'm going to do here is actually configure I square C. So uh, I'm going to just uh, add a couple of lines to the following file. So sudo nano uh, slash etc slash modules. And what you see here on this file is just that one line. So we need to actually add a, a, a few lines. Here you'll see the the bottom two lines are actually what I added, the i2c-bcm2708 and the i2c-dev. Uh, now in order for those changes to become effective, we need to reboot. So sudo reboot. Alright, we're back at the login prompt. So I'm going to log in as user pi. Next thing that we're going to do is update the library. We do that with a sudo apt-get update. Alright, the update is complete and the next thing that we're going to do is install the i square c tools utility. So here we go, sudo apt-get install python-smbus and we need to select yes to install this and now we're going to do a sudo apt-get install i2c-tools and I'd just like to do a little bit of cleanup so sudo apt-get auto-remove and yes we want to continue alright now on the Raspbian image we need to look at uh, or edit actually the following file. So cd uh, space slash etc slash uh, modprobe.d. All right, I'm going to look inside. <clears throat> I'm actually looking for or looking to edit the. Raspy dot or raspy dash blacklist dot conf. So with nano, so sudo nano. Uh, we're going to do raspy dot blacklist dot conf. All right, and on this particular file. There are two line items here. Really, all that we're going to do is just put a pound sign in front, which is commenting them out. So you can see I now have a pound sign in front commenting those two line items out. Apologize for the camera. 
control X and then Y and enter to save that file. And now all I'm going to do is basically just check and, and see if uh, we can actually find any I square C components on the system. Since I have my analog to digital converter plugged in, we should see something. And the way we do this is a sudo uh, i2c detect space dash y space 1 for the model B Raspberry Pi and uh, it'd be a 0 for model A. We hit enter and of course you do actually see the 68 and 69 address there. Um, that's because there's actually two chips, uh, two four channel chips on the analog to digital converter, so uh, it takes up two addresses uh, for a total of eight analog to digital um, channels. So everything's working fine. So I'm actually going to get back to the normal directory here, and the next thing I'm going to do is uh, get. Uh, git. <laughs> so we do this by a sudo apt dash git uh, install and this is git as in git dash core. Of course uh, you need to select y to install this and then enter. After a little bit of wait we're back at the command prompt. The next thing we're going to do is clone the quick 2 wire GPIO admin into a suitable directory. So I always like to create uh, a specific directory uh, for things like this. So I'm actually just going to make a directory sudo mkdir. Uh, I'm going to make it a Python directory with a capital P, P -Y -P -H -Y, Python. There we go, so I made that directory, and I can sudo into, I'm sorry, cd, change directory into python. You notice there's nothing in there. And we're going to create the clone. So sudo get git clone. There we go. Now we're cloning it. Okay, that's complete. I'm going to change into that directory, so cd quick to wire dash gpio dash admin. There we go. And the next thing that we're going to do is actually install the software. So, first thing uh, we need to do a sudo make, m a k e. And now we need to do a sudo make install. And there we go. Now we need to add our username to the GPIO group. And we do this by sudo add user dollar sign capital U user GPIO. I believe this makes our user, current user, logged in, uh, in my case, Pi, uh, basically gives that user access to modify uh, GPIO pins. I could be wrong, uh, but that's kind of what I figured from all the other tutorials that I read. Now, for this to become effective, we do need to log off and log on. I'm simply just going to reboot. All right, after the reboot, uh, we're back at the login prompt. I'm going to log in as Pi. But now what we need to do is clone the quick 2 wire Python API. So we're going to change back into the Python directory we created earlier. And now sudo sudo get git clone and we're cloning that as well now. Now that that clone is complete we're going to clone the analog to digital converter Pi V2 uh, from AB Electronics 
.co.uk. Uh, so since we're already in the Python directory, all we need to do is a sudo uh, git clone git we've copied that, or cloned that rather. If we do a ls you can see the various different clones that we've now made within the Python directory that we created earlier. Alright, so let's actually go in to uh, the last folder that we cloned. So cd adc piv2 I'm going to look in there and let's uh, just edit the example file. Uh, so I'm actually looking for better ways to do this, but uh, this is the one way that I've found that actually works pretty good. Um, so if we do a sudo nano uh, adc pi v2.py, we're actually going to open up the example file that we just cloned. I'm looking at the very top here where we do the import quick two wire. I'm actually going to add a few items here. I'm going to do an import sys and then I'm going to do a sys dot path and now all I'm going to do is the standard uh, control X and then a Y to save that file and now really all I'm going to do is actually test it so uh, to do that sudo python3 uh, remember this is only made for python3 adcpiv2.py and there you go you're actually seeing it uh, report out every single channel um, from the analog to digital conversion so uh, now the only item that I have hooked up is actually on channel 1 so I'm going to do control C to stop that and I'm going to go back in and edit this file and I'm just going to comment out all the other channels just for now so channels 2, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7, and 8. Control X, yes, enter, and I'm going to run it again with Python 3. And now you see I'm, my channel 1 just keeps repeating here. I'm going to go ahead and adjust my potentiometer that I have plugged in. Right now we're at about 4.87 and you can see with my adjustment we're going down 3.736 and I keep going. I've hit the limit at about 3.02 on my particular setup and I'll go back up on the potentiometer. Now we're back up in the fours, 4.87, about the top again. So uh, this is uh, how I set up my analog to digital converter and uh, always looking for input from others. Um, there may very well be better ways to do this, but this is one way that I found to do it. So thank you and I hope you enjoyed this video.